hi guys hi my lovelies you're welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome my name is Oti I create content on sewing tutorials and headwear if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much I really appreciate you in today's video I'll be showing you guys on how to cut and sew this luxury bubble this is a highly requested video from my subscribers this is a clip from the video you are about to watch. For this tutorial, I use Mikado fabric mixed with sequence fabric. So if this is what you would love to learn how to make, please sit back, relax and enjoy the tutorial. Also remember to subscribe because I have lots more coming up. This is the fabric I will be using for today's tutorial. As you can see, I have with me Mikado fabric and sequence fabric so i'm going to put the sequence fabric away for now and continue with the mikado fabric the very first thing i always do when i buy my fabric i always look out for the good side and the bad side of the fabric that is the wrong side and the good side of the fabric because some fabric are very similar it will really take time for you to differentiate between the good and the wrong side of the fabric so after checking for the good and the wrong side of the fabric i'm going to indicate it by chucking the wrong side of the fabric So after marking on the wrong side of the fabric, the next thing I normally do is to fold my fabric into four and neatly place it on the table. Because I'm drafting the front and the back bodies together. I am making the short form of this dress because I have this style already in white. So for this black, I am making a short length for myself. So you can go ahead to make it long as you want. Next, you will rule your starting line. On the starting line, I'm going to impute my measurements. I'm going to mark neck width 3 inches, neck depth for the back 1 inch, neck depth for the front 3 inches. Then I'll connect the neckline. This style, the neckline is small. However, you can adjust it to your preference. Neck width 3 inches. Neck depth for the back 1 inch. Neck depth for the front 3 inches. 3 by 3, 3 by 1. Next is to mark from my center back to where my sleeve would be of which I marked 23 inches. At that point, I marked one and a half inches for the shoulder slope, then I connect it to the neck width. You can adjust the sleeve length to your preference. For the sleeve opening, I measured 12 inches. The same measurement I have at the shoulder, I impute it there in order for me to rule a straight line. Then for the wideness of the body, I marked 17 inches. 
you can impute your hip measurement plus five inches it also depends on how wide you want it to be that is how bogus you want it to be on you you can impute your hip measurement divided by four plus five inches like i said before i want this to be in a short dress that is a short length i already have it in a long length in white color so i want this black to be in a short length i believe it's going to look very fine you can adjust the length to your preference then i can curve the armhole to join the bodies For my pocket placement, I always use 17 inches from the shoulder for my pocket opening. You can adjust the length. You will continue with the 17 inches till you get to the end of your desired length. If it's a long one you want, you will just continue with the 17 inches mark till the end of the dress so before cutting it out i'm going to add half an inch to the shoulder half an inch seam allowance that's about it for the cutting as you can see it is very easy as always wide cutting i'm cutting the back neckline first The scissors I was using at first wasn't sharp enough. Then I cut the bodies. After that, I'm going to remove the back bodies and continue with the front. I cut the front neckline. Next, you will place the back bodies back to the table then from the center back of the back bodies you are going to measure four inches depth for the loop the back is going to have a loop at the back so i measured four inches depth then the next thing that i did i slit it open i slit the center back open till the four inches mark I stop at the four inches mark so this is for the back bodies so the next thing to do is to cut facing for the necklines I am cutting facing first for the front bodies I folded the sequence fabric into two and I also folded the front bodies into two. I place it on top of the sequence at the folded edge of the bodies and the facing. I pin them together as you can see. Next thing to do is to trace the neckline and cut it out. After that, Trace the shoulder slope and cut it out as well. Then remove the pins and also remove the bodies and continue with the facing. For the length of 
the facing I measured 23 inches I used my shoulder to my navel the measurement from my shoulder to my navel from the shoulder of the facing I measured 5 inches then from that 5 inches I placed my ruler in a slanted shape and cut it out I placed my ruler on the 5 inches mark in a slanted shape and I cut it out though the chalk is not visible enough on the fabric but that's what I did I measured 5 inches then I placed my ruler in a slanted shape then I cut it out in order to have a very nice slanted shape on the 23 inches mark that is the length of the facing mark 4 inches there so by the time you place your ruler on the 5 inches mark at the shoulder then you will slant it to meet the 4 inches mark on the 23 inches length i hope you guys understand what i explained then you will have a nice slanted shape by so doing I'm sorry my body covered the camera Next is to cut the back facing. So I folded my sequence into two as you can see. I also folded the back bodies into two and I placed it on top of the sequence. And I trace out the neckline and the shoulder exactly the way I did to the front. On the facing, I also slit the center back open till the 4 inches mark just like I did to the back bodies. Then I'll remove the bodies and continue with the facing. I measured 5 inches on the shoulder just like we did to the front facing. From the 4 inches mark for the loop, I measured 3 inches downward. Then I connect in a curved shape from the 5 inches to the 3 inches like so. Then I cut it out. After that, I'm going to iron ST to the front and the back facing. I'm going to iron ST to it. You can iron any interfacing that you have, but I iron ST to mine.
I have ironed Estee to the wrong side of the facing as you can see I iron Estee to it both to the front and to the back so the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to join facing to facing bodies to bodies I'm going to join them together at the shoulder right side facing each other facing to facing bodies to bodies I will join the facing together at the shoulder separately and I'm going to join the bodies together at the shoulder separately then I will show us the next step to take I have joined them together as you can see the next thing that I did I opened the seam allowance I opened it up and gave it a good press so after that I'm going to place the facing right side facing the wrong side of the bodies I'm going to pin them down at the shoulder I'm going to pin the seam allowance of the facing the seam allowance of the shoulder I'm going to place it to the bodies the seam allowance of the facing I'm going to pin it to the seam allowance of the bodies together and I will take to my sewing machine I'm going to sew half an inch round the neckline After pinning together, I'll take to my sewing machine, I'll sew half an inch round the necklines. After that, I'm going to notch it and flip the facing to the right side of the bodies and top stitch on it. I'm going to fold the edges with half an inch round and top stitch on the right side. Let me quickly sew it and show us how it looks. I've sewn it as you can see. So the next thing to do, I'm going to notch the neckline round. I'm going to notch it round. After notching it round, I will turn the facing to the right side and I will take to my ironing table and give it a good press. Another thing you can use to turn the edges of the facing, you can use bias to turn the edges of the facing. I use bias to turn the back facing because 
when i folded it half an inch some parts wasn't really nice so what i did to the back facing i used bias to turn the edges then the front since it's a slanted shape i just folded half an inch then i top stitch it nicely to the front bodies but the back bodies i use bias to turn the edge this is how it looks after top stitching to the bodies after top stitching the facing to the bodies as you can see it came out very beautiful and very neat so for the back neckline i'm going to use needle and thread to tack hook and eye to the back neckline i will do that later so this is how it looks please take your time when you are working with sequence you have to really take your time because sequence fabric to me is a very difficult fabric to work with but it is beautiful it always gives your fabric a very beautiful and a rich look the video is getting too long already so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to measure the the sleeve opening i have 24 inches so i'm going to show you guys how to cut the band for the sleeve so i'm going to i've already cut 24 inches on my sequence then i'm going to measure the band height of three inches band height of three inches on fold by 24 inches length after that i'm going to cut it out you are going to cut this into two places for the two sleeves but unfortunately the sequence that i have left is not enough for my second sleeve so i'm going to pause here for now till i go to the market to buy sequence to complete this dress the most important thing about this dress is the neckline and the sleeve of which i have shown you guys unfortunately i won't complete this dress on this tutorial i'm going to get the sequence to complete this dress and i'm going to show us the final look on my short video i'll post it to my shorts you guys will see the final look on my short video so after cutting it out you will fold the edges of the sequence you fold you will first of all open it up then you iron interfacing to it i'm going to iron este to mine i decided to show you guys the reason why i could not complete the dress you can see the pieces that i have left is not up to the fabric i used for the slip opening of one side you can see that is why i'm not going to complete this dress on this tutorial i'm so sorry about that guys so i'm going to iron estate to it then after that i'm going to fold in half an inch like this on one edge i'll fold half an inch the other edge i'll fold half an inch And give it a good press after that i'm going to place the edge of the sleeve opening at the middle I'll place it like this then I'll use the sequence to cover it then I will sew at the edge of the sequence make sure to pin it down pin it down 
after pinning it down you take your time you sew at the edge of the sequence so you have the sequence showing outside and inside then you will repeat the same thing on the other side as well after that you will fold the bodies into two you fold the bodies into two and sew the sides you will sew the sides you will fix your pockets you first of all fix your pockets if you want to add pocket to yours then you will sew the sides We've come to an end of today's tutorial. If you find my tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you've not done so. I upload weekly tutorial on my channel. Also remember to click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Until I come your way next, please stay safe and remain blessed. Thanks for watching. I love you all. Bye.